Hey, it's your girl Kamala K. So I'm going to be showing you the Rev Air Reverse Air Dryer. How I went from my 4C curly kinky hair to this straight bomb blowout look that you see. So first I'm going to show you a little bit about the product. Then I'm going to get into showing you how I was able to just detangle my hair. Also separating it into sections and then showing you the process from pretty much start to finish. <music> So in terms of what the Rev Air Reverse Air Dryer comes with, of course you have your main console for the power, the power button is on the very top, and then the various heat setting options are on the side of the console. Now we have the main section, right? This is what you're gonna use to be able to suck your hair into that top area, and that's what's gonna straighten your hair when you're not using it. It has the base you can put it on. Then it comes with various primers. For mine, there's a specific one for 4C hair as well. You have your various clips for sectioning your hair, the microfiber towel, and then a really awesome spray bottle that I love, and this tote bag that allows you to store everything in there that's super large. So as you can see, I've used their clips to section off my hair. They do recommend that you use very small sections because that allows your hair to dry a lot faster. The machine will be a lot more efficient, and so that's what I did. Yo, I am legit blown away at how easy this has been. So as you just saw, I was detangling my hair because each section, especially with 4C hair, it gets tangled very easily. So I was making sure that there were no, no knots to add to any possible sections getting stuck in the dryer. But so far, I haven't had any issues with that getting stuck. And it's about 15 seconds or so for these sections and depending on the heat setting that I'm using. When they say shrinkage is real, I'm the prime example right here. So I know the question you're probably wondering, is this heavy holding it up like this? Honestly, I was a little bit worried that it was going to be an issue, but I think because I put it down for every section, it hasn't honestly been an issue. So yes, it does have weight to it, but I don't think it's anything that's going to drive me too crazy. Okay, so let's pause for a minute. So, so far, this is my hair that is now straight, and this is my curly 4C hair. You can see the huge difference in the length obviously from straightening it. I generally don't put heat on my hair or straighten my hair that often, but when I do, it's super nice that I'm now gonna have a much easier process. And honestly, so far I've done a good portion of my hair and it's taken me maybe about 15 minutes or so. Not bad at all. Let's keep going. <music> Okay, so I have a few more sections to go, so probably about another 15 minutes or so to just comb everything out and to get the individual sections primed and then straight and almost there. And the part of the reason why I'm doing this is because I like to clip my ends when they are straight. Obviously, I do clip them at times when they're curly, but I feel like I get a little bit of a better cut when my hair is straight so I can really see the areas that really need some attention. So after I finish straightening my hair, I am going to just snip the ends myself. I 
using this Rev Air blow dryer. I thought it was super simple. I was able to straighten my hair in about 45 minutes or so, and it wasn't that stressful doing it. I also want to make note that if you are looking for a silk press, this is not going to do that for you. You're not going to get that smooth, slick look. It is literally going to extend your hair, um, give it that volume and that length as well. But for someone that straightens their hair all the time, I definitely recommend this. It's going to cut your time probably in half if you're used to just using a regular blow dryer. And also I do like this because now literally after I finish this video, I'm going to go and just snip my ends a little bit and it's just going to be a little bit easier for me to see what I'm doing and what areas need the most attention. So would I recommend this? Yes, especially someone with 4C hair. Let me just say I wasn't sure if this was going to work on my hair too well because I know my hair gets tangled easier. So I was a little bit concerned, was my hair going to get tangled in here by any means? And it did not, not even one single time. So for my hair, for instance, I use setting five or six and it goes all the way to setting seven. So I felt like for my coarser hair texture, putting it on the second setting here, which was the higher heat, and then also on the five to six range gave me the quickest straightened look. So yeah, I'm absolutely loving the results. Also a good thing about having my hair like this is whenever I need to go do my modeling jobs and I potentially have to put on a wig, it'll be easier to just braid my hair down when it's in this state. Um, it'll just be easier for myself because I'm not the greatest with the braiding. Um, so this will help the process also make that a little bit easier for myself. So. Looking forward to just playing with this. My hair is clean because obviously I washed it before doing this and so now I can just have my hair a little bit different for the week. All right, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me and I'll see you in my next video.